Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Recently, I posted a video on how I decorated the Christmas tree here in the cottage, this one that you see sitting behind me. I'll also link that video down in the description box if you want to go back and watch that. But in today's video, you're actually going to see the whole entire cottage decorated and ready for Christmas. Before we get into this video, I do want to thank Acorn TV for sponsoring this video. If you've never heard of Acorn TV before, it's actually a British-rooted streaming service. They are home to sophisticated and artful storytelling that is rooted in British television, all while showing you premium content that is commercial free. And it's also available for only $5.99 a month. So like I said, there's different ways you can stream it. Now that I have my she shed and my fireplaces done, I have my TV above the fireplace. So that's where I stream my Acorn TV from through a Roku. And my new favorite on there at the moment is Tales of Irish Castles. I adore documentaries. So this has been a fun way to learn about history and something new. So this has been a super fun show to watch. I love learning history and it's got some really great stories in there as well. And currently Acorn TV has a great great Black Friday BOGO special going on. So after you purchase your initial membership, which is only $5.99 a month, you will get each additional one for 50% off. So this definitely would make a great holiday gift idea, especially if you have someone on your shopping list that might be a little bit difficult to buy for. And you can use my discount code, the Daily DIYer, to scoop up that deal and special, but make sure you do it quickly as this special is only good from November 24th through the 30th, 2020. If you're a fan of quirky British comedy, then the other one is a must watch. It follows two sisters from very different worlds who had no idea the other existed until their father drops dead. And for your Downton Abbey fans out there, the other one features a hilarious performance by beloved Soban Finneran. Escape to Britain and beyond without leaving your seat. Try Acorn TV free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and use promo code the Daily DIYer. And now I'm super excited to share with you my whole cottage Christmas tour. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In the previous video that I mentioned earlier, you got an in-depth look at my Christmas tree, but you only got a small sneak peek of the built-ins and the fireplace and mantle. But in this video, you're actually going to get a detailed and more in-depth look at all of the decor. So I'm so excited to finally reveal this space to you. So let's start with the fireplace and mantle. You'll see that I have some gorgeous thick greenery hanging from the front of the mantle. That is from Hobby Lobby. It's beautiful with little pieces of holly and eucalyptus and berries tucked in there. I have some lights as well. My stockings are both from Hobby Lobby too, as well as these mercury glass and wood trees. I love Hobby Lobby. They always have some beautiful accessories that all tend to match and coordinate together. So it makes decorating so, so simple. These lanterns are also from Hobby Lobby. We actually use these to line the aisle of our wedding. So we had several of these on hand and they are beautiful to flank the sides of the fireplace. I have some LED candles in there that make it easy to turn off and on. And then let's move over to the sides of the fireplace where you can see we have these brand new built-ins with cabinets underneath. So I actually decided to go with a cottage theme for the cottage, go figure. I love all of the little houses and you'll see them tucked in here and there throughout the decor. So each space will have a little bit of some neutral decor, some wood signs, little Christmas trees and greenery, and little touches of light wood as well. A lot of the decor you're seeing is from Hobby Lobby or these bowls were thrifted and the, the ornaments ornaments inside are from Marshalls, but they look like antiques. So I love finding things that have character, but maybe not aren't necessarily very difficult to find too. This bottom shelf has some other accessories from Hobby Lobby along with an antique crock that I stuck some greenery in, some wood beads, and the little Christmas tree tag is from Walmart. The tray that they're sitting on is from Hobby Lobby. In the corner, I have a cloche that I found at Ikea and the little houses are from Target. 
This tree is from a DIY that I did and you'll see a couple of those tucked in around the space as well. Moving over to the left side of the fireplace, you'll see those houses again at the top. The biggest one is from Kirkland's. I also have the same wood candlesticks and greenery, as well as the ceramic house. The next shelf down has a Christmas book with a mercury glass vase, and on the other side is an antique wood bowl with some more of those ornaments. At the very bottom, you'll see a tray tucked full of Christmas accessories, a would-be garland that I handmade, a seltzer bottle, and an antique crock, the star in the back I handmade several years ago. And then in front of this built-in, you'll see my beautiful flocked Christmas tree. So I'll give you a little bit of a detailed look into this Christmas tree, but if you'd like to learn more, you can go back and watch that Christmas tree decorate with me video to learn where all of the accessories are. My favorite part of this tree are these crocheted snowflakes that my great grandmother made decades ago. I always love adding little personal touches to spaces. It's what really brings back memories and makes it feel much more special. Onto the bottom here. I actually have a tree collar on this Christmas tree from Walmart. It was only about $20, so very, very affordable. And I will link that down in the description box, along with this cute little cottage advent calendar, which I found on Amazon. And the sled in the back is an antique that I found at a antique store. Now we're gonna move over to this side of the space that no one has seen yet. I wanna show you how I decorated it a little bit first. I actually had a friend of mine create some gingerbread cookies for me. So first we're gonna start with these adorable little cottages. So again, staying with that theme. I had several apothecary jars. Some are from antique stores, some are from Walmart. So it's kind of a combination of old and new. I just added some sugar into the bottom of my jars and put my gingerbread cottage cookies inside. I have a, a cabinet or a china cabinet that reminds me of a kitchen so I like to decorate it with things that are for a kitchen so this is kind of like a baking style or theme over there. So these cute little houses and trees that she made looked so, so cute and still stayed really neutral with the whites and the browns of the wood. So it just all kind of really tied together. This little guy is one of them that I found in an antique store. So I love just adding old and new together. As you can see, I have several of these jars all combined together. I even have some little pedestals and cake stands to make them at different heights. And in the very back, you'll see an antique silver tray that I found at another antique store. And the White Pines Farm wood sign is from an antique store as well, but it is definitely not an old sign. I think they just had something new in an old store, but I fell in love with it because it definitely has a rustic and beautiful look that kind of goes with the theme of these little gingerbread cookies. I also wanted to show you the really simple way I decorated these two pencil flocked trees that flank the sides of the china cabinet. They are also from Hobby Lobby. So you can see here I had my friend make me some snowflake gingerbread cookies and also added holes so that I could use them as ornaments on this tree. This ribbon kind of has that rustic-y look. Those are from Walmart. And these little cottages are a DIY that I transformed from a Target dollar spot garland into ornaments. So you can see I'm just adding some jute, keeping with that rustic theme and farmhouse theme to make these little cookies into ornaments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
These cookies made the cottage smell so, so yummy, just like they had been freshly baked. Now we're going to decorate these little pencil trees with the ribbon first. I always like to put my ribbon on the trees first and put my ornaments on top. So a friend of mine showed me how to add ribbon to a tree really, really simply. I'll put her Instagram account down in the description box. You basically just cut about a foot length section of ribbon and then tuck your tails into the tree. So I love this because you aren't using a ton of ribbon, but you're still getting those beautiful loops as you add the ribbon to the tree. After I had all of my loops added on, I just kind of did it sporadically here and there. I started adding my gingerbread snowflake cookies to the tree. And then after that, I added my little cottage ornaments too. I also decided to tie a little bit of that same ribbon onto the apothecary jars. I really liked adding that touch of red into this space. Even though I have a really neutral decor theme going on, the pops of red actually really warm it up and it picks up on some of the berries that you see in this garland that is in the middle of our table. That is actually the same garland that is on the mantle, so it's a great way to tie the spaces together. The candlesticks our antique brass candlesticks that we also had in our wedding so it was a great way to repurpose these in our decor on this back wall i have windows and wreaths from hobby lobby and this large sign in the middle is from kirkland's And now to share with you some of the details of this space, the metal nativity sign is from Hobby Lobby and it's setting up against a window that I made. Of course, I showed you how I put together this cute gingerbread house village. I love all of the apothecary jars and the bottle brush trees kind of help pull it all together and make it look like a little Christmas village. And then moving down to this bottom shelf, this is kind of my coffee bar area or my son loves making hot cocoa over here. So it's kind of his special cocoa area too. I have a little Santa back here that my grandmother painted a long time ago. This sign is a Dollar Tree hack that I made in a video previously. And these little Santa mugs are from Walmart. They're sitting on a handmade uh, shelf that I made a long time ago. And then on top are some Target Dollar Spot items. The Jingle Bells are actually vintage. I found those at an antique store and they sound just like sleigh bells. I love those. And then next to it, I have some Ray Dunn tucked in there with another one of my grandmother's Santas. Also, the spool is an antique. And then I sat a few extra little of those cookie ornaments there just to give it a little bit of a feel that it all was combined and connected together. And the trees are sitting in baskets that you can find at Target. I will make sure to put some links down in the description box below to some of the items that you saw in today's video. So make sure to check there along with some links to videos to some of the DIYs that you saw throughout this video as well. And so I want to give you an overall look of this space and then we're going to move back behind that pocket door into my office where I will also give you a tour of that space. So behind that pocket door that you saw is actually my office. So this space I kind of close off because it can 
become kind of a messy space. But as you walk through that door, you'll see a mistletoe that I found at Hobby Lobby. I thought that was a cute place to put it. So to the left is my desk, and you can see I just added a few accessories for Christmas. Next to the sides of the windows, I found some antique looking bells along with some Christmas trees and some neutral signs. This little wreath is from an antique shop that I fell in love with and added it to the back of my desk chair. And so my bells are just kind of hanging from these lamps that I have on the sides of the window. And I really wanted to keep this space neutral too, as it's kind of a chaotic space sometimes. So I really like to have neutral decor that helps uh, with that calming effect. This winter candle is from Bath and Body Works. It's my new absolute favorite scent from there. So I have that going in my window. And then whenever you turn around within my space, you'll actually see some more cabinetry and countertop space. I just released a video on how we put these cabinets up onto the walls. They are a thrift flip and they were something old that we made new again. So you can go check out that video later. Also in the corner, I have a tiered tray. I always put all of my things that I need to keep handy here, like paintbrushes and glue sticks. So while I'm working at my countertop, I can just easily grab as I need. Over here, I have a Dollar Tree DIY that I created. And then above this, I've just decorated it with some of my extra cottages, a wood sign that I made, and another wreath that I found from Hobby Lobby and also some bottle brush trees but you can also see that bottom shelf has a basket which allows me to easily grab some of my excess or my supplies that i need along with those glass jars behind there are things that i use frequently too so it's a decorated space but it's also a functioning space the wreath on this tile was an everyday wreath. I just added some red berries to it as well as a Target dollar spot ornament to the middle to dress it up for Christmas. I would love to hear what was your favorite part of this tour. You can leave those down in the comments below. Also give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I'll also have more Christmas inspiration videos popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.